This is what you can do today to improve your ride tomorrow. DressageTrainingOnline.com, providing video training tools and resources for riders of all levels across the globe. Very good. That's good. And now you are going to use your wrists a little bit to encourage him to be a little bit softer in the jaw. But while you do that, he must be positively forward. So you go down the long side. Good. And you ask him to flex a little bit to the right with your right wrist. And then on the next long side, we ask him to flex a little bit left on the long side. Good. And it comes just from your good posture, your legs hanging down, and then the, the wrist on the left side that you get that left jaw. That's all you want is just the jaw and the pole to be supple left. And now we want the jaw and the pole to be supple right. Good. That's it. Very good. And one more time on the long side to the left, the same thing. We don't want the hind legs changing. We don't want the front legs running to the right or to the left. Only that we can adjust that. Very good. And then to the right in the corner. And we'll change direction on the diagonal with a little bit positive trot, but into the connection. So you feel from behind that you can carry your hands, you carry the, that connection in the front. And then you build him nice and forward into that. Good. Not that he lays on the hand, but he gets forward from behind into the contact. And then we let him look a little bit to the right on the long side. Good. And you use your wrist and get him to chew a little bit on the bit with that right wrist. And then use the left wrist and get him to chew a little bit on the bit with the left wrist. Good. So you feel that you're using that martingale to help you to let him loosen up those different parts in his body. That's great. And then forward. And then you feel through your riding and through the confidence of what that martingale helped him to learn and for you to learn. And then we go ahead back to the trot. And so the idea is that you let him in the contact, but with that little running rein, he was not able to put on healthy pressure with the under neck and with his back and with his hips on the rein. So you got to have the feel of that nice contact, that he was seeking the contact and he liked the contact. But he didn't get from the seeking the contact, the leaning part that can sometimes happen. So you're going to keep working on that way. If you feel that he is leaning down in the rain in the wrong way, you need him a little bit leaning from the hind legs into the rain in a good way. But if you, if you feel that the under neck gets stiff and the shoulders get on the bit, then you're going to use your wrist to help you, but keep your posture the same as when you had the martingale. Don't let the reins get too, too long and your hands open. You need to keep the hands closed so that as he seeks the right frame, you can make those little half halts that ask him to stand upright and not to fall down. 